The question we're answering today, is Riverside.fm's transcription accurate? What if I talk while having food in my mouth? How well will it transcribe a completely made up word like funktacular? Fun Spectacular. Transcription tools are getting better and better, but I hate having to go back and make a bunch of edits to the transcript so that my closed captions are accurate later on. So let's run a Riverside.fm transcription accuracy test. We're gonna start with easier words and phrases, then test more difficult things. And I asked ChatGPT for transcription phrases that transcription tools would have a hard time transcribing. So it's kind of like AI versus AI here. Let's see what happens. By the way, my name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. Got that part right. And full transparency, this video is sponsored by Riverside. They asked me to take it for a run and test how well it works. But my promise to you is to be completely honest all the way through, including the good and the bad things that I find. And I gotta admit, I've got some skepticism because sometimes tools are created to do something and they do it really well and then they start adding new features. And Riverside has long been known as an incredible tool for recording podcast episodes and other now video content with you and a guest that's maybe on the other side of the world. And it records locally to both hard drives. So even if the internet is terrible, you still get a really high quality recording. But I love that they've added the transcriptions as well as transcript based editing, where you can actually just highlight sections you don't want, delete them, and it automatically edits the video and the audio to match as well. And to be fair, Riverside doesn't claim to have perfect transcription. If we look at the fine print, they say that they will be 99% accurate. That's a really high percentage. So I started thinking, well, maybe all the transcription tools are that good now because of AI. So I wanted to put Riverside's transcription up against another well-known tool. The transcript on the right is actually from a tool that I use and pay for in my business. And this is from a recent episode of my podcast, The Six Ways. So let's hit play and see how each of them do. We'll keep score at the bottom of the screen there where it says error count, all right? Let's go. Have you ever launched an mm -hmm. offer only to be met with zero sales? This is almost guaranteed to happen if we don't talk about what we sell ahead of time. How can we do it without annoying people, feeling like we're talking about selling all the time? We take a look at what Hollywood does for movies. In this episode, we're sharing six ways entrepreneurs can use anticipation marketing like Hollywood does to sell more than ever before. And with great anticipation marketing, your next launch could be the best you've ever had. And without it, your results will probably stay flat or maybe even get worse. I can't wait to jump into this important conversation. Wow. Five errors on the other tool and zero on Riverside. Here's a sentence ChatGPT said might be tricky. In 2024, the AI industry is expected to grow exponentially. Boy, I really enunciated there, didn't I? Let me try it a little more casually, like I might actually talk in a podcast episode. In 2024, the AI industry is expected to grow exponentially. ChatGPT also suggested testing it by talking really fast and then talking really slowly about it as well. All right, I still want to test maybe me talking with food in my mouth, and we will definitely test some made up words to see how Riverside does with those. But while I was in here playing around, I noticed they have really upped their game when it comes to live streaming. You can go live to YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, X slash Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, or with this custom RTMP option, you can actually go live to pretty much any platform and you can go live to multiple platforms at once. Or maybe you want to have a private live broadcast up here at the top, this little toggle. You can actually just have a private broadcast that you could use for maybe a webinar or something like that that you invite people to. Plus, while you're live, they've got this live stream chat that will show you the comments from the different platforms that you're streaming to all in one feed. And you can click on them and have them show up on your live broadcast. And I love that you can add these lower third banners to your broadcast. My favorite part is you can actually put a timer on it so it automatically disappears after 10 seconds or 20 seconds. Or you can leave them up there permanently, whatever makes the most sense for you. And you're gonna have your own soundboard so you can upload your own sounds or they've included clapping and cheering, other things you might use during a live stream. But I'd love that you can customize this as well. By the way, if you wanna try Riverside for free, you can use the link on the screen and go to the description to save your thumb muscles from getting sprained or your finger muscles to get a link and a special code to get a discount just for viewers of our channel. Now let's try a couple of fake words. Now I co-founded a company called Modcast Marketing and 
we work with entrepreneurs to create a module-based podcast. I'm not going to go into the whole thing here, but the idea is one show can help you grow your audience, build your authority, all these different things. But modcast is, of course, short for modular-based podcast, but it's a made-up word. Will Riverside get it right? Let's take a look at what I just said. So it got modcast right both times. I did just skim through this here, and I see it says co, and there's a space before the dash before founded. So I don't know, maybe we count that as an error, but I'm pretty impressed that it got the made up word right. And just for fun, let's try another completely made up word with food in my mouth. I'll put my hand up so it doesn't gross anybody out. This chicken is spectacular. Okay, it's just funny to see that typed out, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is the 1% here because it says funtacular, not a real word, obviously. Technically, I would have spelled it F-U-N-K-tacular but still really impressive. So as Riverside claimed, it's not 100% perfect with its transcription, but as you saw in our test, it does it really, really well. If you wanna check out Riverside for free, or if you decide to upgrade to one of their paid accounts, you can get a 15% discount using the code Jerry Potter. Find all that information in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.